Here we'll learn to master Haimen Sokumen Jodan Uke, Yoko Geri, Buraken Doji Kogeki, and Mae Geri. Heian Nidan. Let's watch the film. In Sokume and Uke, you trick with your body facing front without twisting your knees. Usually, you trick in two movements, but as you progress, you'll be able to do it in one by pulling and pushing your legs and tricking Uraken Yoko Geri simultaneously. There are 26 movements in all. Fully bend and set your back knee. Use this leg as an axis. Take care not to change the height of your waist. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When you perform a trick in Gyaku Hamni stance, turn your hip fully using your back leg as an axis so that your upper body will turn half side. If you master this kata and make use of the basic tricks included in it, your fighting actions such as basai will be perfected. Let's watch the entire course of action again. Oh! 
Instructor Nakayama explains the points of action. This Sokumen Uke is seen in karate very often. In this case, you defend, making your forearm erect from the elbow. All movement should remain in one plane. Whether you make a fist or an open hand, the position of the elbow doesn't change. This action is seen in many kata. Its purpose is to change direction and attempt the trick without changing the position of your upper body. So take a short step forward and make an axis line from your head to your toe. Change direction by turning your hips and then kick. The Hamni stance of the 16th to 19th movements is called Gyaku Hamni. It differs from the usual Hamni stance in that the back foot side of the hip is moved forward and you make a trick. In the 19th movement, you turn your hip quickly enough for your forefoot to be pulled back naturally. 